we just made it up this major incline this Jeep's going down and um, somehow we made it all the way up which is nice and um, as you can see we've got a pontoon strapped on the back here because I could not I only got it back on once and then it came off really soon so we just decided let's run without it because it's just going to keep coming off but as you can tell we had a pinch flat coming up so we're going to change that out what we just came down through we were way back in there there's a clearing that you can see maybe if you look all the way right there so past that ridge over there somewhere that's where we were we made it somebody pulled us through one creek creek we got that flat tire we made it through the creek down there at the bottom then we had to wait for about six trucks to come and then we put it in two-wheel drive and that made the difference all the way up we didn't stop jonathan's walking up there in the yellow and cameron was riding sidecar to keep my weight and uh we just gunned it and kept it going the whole time and i thought for sure i'd lose steering with the two-wheel drive but surprisingly i was able to steer so there must be enough sliding on the dirt road and then we were able to finally just stop right up there and then we'll be back to the main road learning a lot about the bike uh been some disappointments but you know it's uh, definitely a learning experience when you're doing this kind of stuff and uh so far we're feeling better now that we're out i think we're gonna be able to go to the lakes that we wanted to go to on our secondary plan yesterday Okay, so we just spent about another hour because we thought we'd go to Cross Creek Reservoir. Beautiful here, but this is Bighorn Reservoir and Cross Creek is even further up. It sits right at the base, right up there. So it's really pretty, but what have we been doing this last hour? Well, who would have thought that up here in the mountains, amidst all these rocks, we've got sand, a lot of sand. And so we were coming in here, going pretty good. Not too bad. Now, granted, remember we had to change that tire? I'm on my half bald Street 308 tire on the pusher. So my sidecar, which is why we've been driving in two wheel drive most of the day, has a lot of the extra traction we need. So check this out. Uh, these guys are kind enough to help dig us out. And So here's what we did. We got stuck right here pretty bad. Actually right up there, you can see. We started getting backed out after some dig it out and then we got stuck here getting sucked in so then we had to winch ourselves and motor ourselves all the way back and we got backed up and turned around and then i had to turn off the two-wheel drive so the pack would act as an anchor and that spun us around and then right about there i engaged the two-wheel drive gunned it and let the clutch out jonathan who held on to the uh stood on the hack sidestep in the handle and leaned in so we could get some extra traction and we got all the way up there but that tree up there behind Cameron that's what we anchored onto and we winched and we winched and I'm really glad we brought the Maz down so we're out we're headed back to park and we're gonna call it a day mm -hmm.